Moving on to the, the fan drive assembly. Shields held on by three 3 8 flange nuts. Pop it off the bottom. First thing to do is visually check, pull any leftover residue from the previous season out of the way, clean it up, blow it off with the air compressor or pressure washer. And then you're going to start at the bottom, we'll follow the, the power transmission through the unit. You've got uh, two inch and three eight sealed bearings here. You're going to want to check to ensure that the seals are in good shape, there's no visible signs of damage to the bearings themselves, and that the bearings are tight to the shafts. A good quick check is to take a pry bar against the the flange nut there. Just give that shaft a little wiggle, ensure that there's no play in there. While you've got your pry bar, you can do the same with the secondary shaft, or just give this 19 inch pulley a, a rock. The bottom pulley has very, very limited uh, issues with it. The primary drive belt is definitely a wear item you're going to want to watch for. You're going to want to check to see, make sure there's no cracks or checking in the lining of the back of the belt. And then you're going to want to have a look at the inside of the belt. Just slowly rotate the fan over. Cracks in between the cogs are quite common, not a big concern. Missing cogs or signs of the belt being hardened and glazed from slippage and, and heat, definitely an issue you want to be, can be aware of. Or just plain worn out belt. Anytime you change the drive belt, you want to check the small pulley. This goes for any drive. The smaller pulley is always the one turning faster, always getting more wear, always slipping more. You want to ensure that the, that the peaks between the belts uh, are not worn to a point. There should be a flat surface on the peaks, and that's a, a sure sign of wear. Putting a new belt on a worn pulley, you're just asking for trouble. You're wasting your money and wasting your time. Uh, it, will, it will simply slip and not drive. Check the idler, make sure that it's got good bearings in it, nice and tight. Check the spring tension. You want to be able to slide a dime between the, uh, the coils of the spring. Um, it's a quick and easy adjustment with the tensioner bolt. Onto the secondary drive, same as the primary. Check the back of the belt, check the inside of the belt, check the idlers, and check the condition of this top pulley. To check the top fan shaft bearings, they're a sealed bearing and a sealed housing. They're really not serviceable. You want to do a visual inspection, make sure that the seals aren't damaged. That's a sure sign that there's going to be a failure down the road. To check the top bearings, I'm going to release the tension off the secondary spring. And that allows us to roll this belt off. We can give this fan, fan shaft a, a roll. Make sure we hear no noise, no rumblings. And that also, at the same time, ensures that there's nothing built a nest in the uh, impeller here, or there's no uh, nothing rubbing on the impeller. We check the, the pulley to ensure that we don't have any excessive wear. It gives us an easier chance to check the inside of the belt as well. We can roll that back on. Everything is good. We'll run up our spring tension so that we can slide a dime in between the coils. Then we make sure we jam that lock nut against the spring so that we don't lose our tension. Alright, everything checks out. Our idlers are in good good condition. Our bearings are in good condition. We can go ahead, give each bearing three to five shots of grease every 50 hours uh, maximum. Um, if you're uh, the grease it every day kind of guy, just give one squirt. Um, over greasing will pop the seals out and, uh, and damage the bearing. We'll go ahead and replace the shield. Ensure we tighten those three three-eighths nuts to keep this shield from rattling and wearing.